Hi guys, welcome back for another DIY. Today we are making a simple bikini. These are the tools that you are going to need for the fabric. I use a scuba which has a two-way stretch and is good in water. Check your fabric to see which direction has the greatest stretch. This will help you line up your pattern pieces on the fabric so that the direction of the greatest stretch will go across your body rather than up and down. This will make it much more comfortable. To get the shape of the top, I use this crop top. I did this by flipping to the side and tracing from shoulder seam to side seam all the way around. Once traced on paper, add your seam allowance around the edge and also add your space for your elastic casing at the bottom. For the back, I used the same template as the front. I just lowered the neckline so that it has a nice scoop back. Here you can see the difference between the front and the back and now it's time to trace the pants. Using the same technique as before, I traced the front and the back of the pants. I then added a seam allowance all the way around each pattern. Okay, time to cut it out. So this is what the tops look like and this is what the pants look like. For the top, place your pieces right sides facing together and then sew down the side seams and then do the same to the pants, sewing all three seams. I used my serger to put these together but you can also use a zigzag seam for stretchy fabrics. Once you're finished sewing, then try it on. If you're happy with the fit, then go ahead and finish all the edges so that we can fold them over. So to make our bikini fit better, we're gonna use elastic. The thicker one is for the top and the thinner one is for the bottoms. Measure the elastic around your high waist, pulling it so that there is a little bit of the stretch. To create your elastic casing, turn your allowance to the inside and then pin in place. Top stitch all the way round, leaving a two inch gap in one of the corners. For this, I use the twin needle, but if you don't have one, you can use two rows of stitching. Thread your elastic through using the safety pin method and on the other side, put together and sew closed. You can then stretch out the bottom of the top and then close the two inch gap when you're happy. To finish the top, fold over all the overlocked seams and then top stitch in place. So for the pants, we're gonna use a slightly different technique. We are gonna sew the elastic straight onto the pants. Start by lining up your elastic flush with the outside edge on the right side of your pants. Once you start sewing, you want to stretch the elastic but keep the fabric absolutely normal. Keep sewing round the leg hole until you get back to the elastic and then overlap by about half a centimeter. Once you have finished sewing the elastic, you then want to turn it to the inside of the pants and then top stitch in place. Use the same technique on both the leg holes and the opening and when you're finished, that's it. That is it guys, you have just made yourself a bikini. I wanted to find the simplest way to be able to make one, which is why I didn't bother with a gusset or with any kind of lining. The fabric that I chose is quite thick so it doesn't get see-through, so that's it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always it's been a pleasure and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!